How's it going, guys? We have a medium difficulty question for Immuno for step one. Very similar to a question on the NBME exam that students frequently get wrong. The question on the actual NBME exam, big, massive fucking paragraph with tons of extraneous uh, information, okay, extremely obfuscating, convoluted. I just hyper simplified it here. Cut to the chase. Before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate it. Give the video a like. Really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, mehl man underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to Telegram group and channel are down below. Let's start the clip. 15 year old girl receiving radiotherapy. She for a spinal tumor. The neoplastic cells express T lymphocyte receptor genes, but do not express CD4 or CD8. Question wants to know what is the normal counterpart of these malignant cells? If you think this is a weird question, as it is fucking said, it's nearly identical to one on the NBME exam, although uh, their question is a lot longer, okay? So on the NBME question, what they do is they list you neoplastic cells that are negative for like 10 different markers, positive for other markers. Students have no idea what's going on. And I say, look, what they're trying to tell you is that you have neoplastic cells. They're saying it's a T cell in origin, okay? There's T cell markers on it, even though they're weird sounding genes in the question. And then they also tell you that the cells are negative for CD4 and CD8. Okay. So you're just, so when you step into the answer choices here, which might also seem a little bit weird, you just say, well, we have T cells that are double negative CD4, CD8. Okay. That's it. So let's just move to the answer choices. Where do we uh, expect C, uh, double negative CD4, CD8 T cells to be. So choice A, immunoglobulin screening plasma cells in the bone marrow, clearly wrong fucking answer. Plasma cells are B cell in origin, okay? Nothing dramatic or overly complicated. Next answer, choice B, regulatory T cells, wrong answer. When students don't know an answer, they choose weird sounding shit, okay? Uh, I think there might be one question tops on regulatory T cells across the NBME exams. You could just know in theory, these are a type of T cell that are immunosuppressant, okay? They play a role in preventing autoimmunity, and they have a couple weird markers called CD25 and FOXP3. Absolute nonsense considering step one's pass-fail now, okay? Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, early T lymphocytes and thymic cortex is the correct answer. So what you need to know is that T cells during their maturation process they enter the thymic cortex. So T cells originally produced in the bone marrow. They're going to enter the thymic cortex and they're going to be double negative for CD4 and CD8. Okay. And then what's going to happen is the T cells undergo what's called positive selection, which means that they need to respond sufficiently to self antigen in order to declare essentially that the T cells are strong enough slash capable of generating an immune response. Okay, we're ruling in that they're capable of generating an immune response. The double negative CD4, CD8 T cells are then going to take on a double positive CD4, CD8. It's just what they do. Then they're going to, so that would be choice D here. Double positive CD4, CD8, wrong answer. As I said, the answer is early T lymphocytes where the double negative CD4, CD8. So late T lymphocytes in the thymic cortex prior to their migration into the thymic medulla are going to be double positive CD4, CD8. They migrate into the thymic medulla and they're going to lose one of their markers. So they'll be either a CD4 or a CD8 plus T cell. And the T lymphocytes then undergo what's called negative selection, which means if they do react against self-antigen, then they undergo apoptosis, okay? So in the, in the cortex, we want to see that the, the T cells are capable of generating an immune response. However, in the medulla, we want to see that the T cells aren't too strong such that they are inadvertently going to induce any type of autoimmunity, okay? So... In the medulla, it would have been just CD4 or a CD8 positive T cell, not double negative, not double positive. Once again, if you think it's a weird question, it's on the NBME for step one, and I get asked this quite a bit uh, from students who have confusion. I'm going to link my immuno PDF in the pinned comments below. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.